Knox County Talk back with our third episode of the monthly awards. It's December's awards. So we're going to kick straight off um, and go into our first category, which is team of the month. George, I'll let you go first for this one. All right, then. Team of the month. Um, you could probably say I've slightly been swayed from the result that they picked up against us, which was my our most recent game. I've gone for Hartlepool. This month, they've been flying, really. You know, they've got five wins from seven. From the last five, they've only lost one. So that's just this month, obviously. So they're in fantastic form this month. And they got a really, probably the best result they'll get all season, 4-0 against Stockport. I can I can say this now, no team is going to score four against Stockport this season now. Like, no, nobody. So for Hartlepool to have done that, you know, credit to them and it shows you you know, where they are and what they're aiming for, I think, this season. Well, I basically went, I went for Hartlepool as well. I thought oh, the, the result against Knotts was a good result. I mean, they just did a game yeah. plan on it. Knotts could have scored three or four, but we didn't. So we, we yeah. lost one nil. Beat Halifax, yeah. like you say, they beat Stockport, albeit Stockport had nine men at, towards the end of the game. But yeah, still, yeah. they've scored four. and they've so A team like Stockport, they're chasing promotion, aren't going to lie down even with nine, eight men, are they? So, yeah. Um, the it's just the funny thing about group. before we move on as well from their last five games, uh, the teams that they've played have had at least one player sent off. Mm, yeah, so I mean, yeah, maybe it's not been as good a month, but you know they've got they've got the job done when they've needed to, and exactly, yeah, yeah. fair play fair to, play to them. Right, player of the month. So let's hope we've you not go gone for the same one this time. Player yeah, of the month. Go I've gone Hartlepool's Luke Armstrong. Now, nice. he's recently joined from Salford and in December, five in five games, including the winner against Knotts and a couple of braces as well. Five in five after coming to your new club. Like, you can't beat that. Exciting, yeah. You if you're a Harley Paul fan, you're excited to see him play, aren't you? Yeah. Luke Armstrong, my player of the month, 100%. That's a good shout. Now, probably a bit biased on this one. Uh, there'll probably be a few Knotts fans throwing a bit of hatred my way, but I'm going to do it anyway. I've gone for Canel Rawlinson because I just think whatever's around him in terms of the back four, I mean, to be honest with you, the back four has been pretty similar this month anyway, but it's been chopped and changed a little bit. Um, he just gives that, that you know, like seven or eight out of ten performance for me. And in, in a month where we've conceded, I think, three goals, He's been the backbone for me of, of that that centre back partnership. Where you're looking at Turner's, he's flung a few clumsy mistakes out there, and he has to sort of sweep it up a little bit. Yeah, kick the striker's um, head off. Yeah, yeah. So yeah, there's that obviously, and uh, I just think it, I just wanted to stray away from going goal scorers. So the last the last couple I've done, well, the last one I did was a goal scorer, then it was a keeper. So I, I just wanted to like change the position a little bit, really, yeah, and I feel enough, like. Yeah. Rawlinson deserves a little bit of credit, I think, because he, he is a really good player and he finds those those long balls. You know, he works it well between the lines. So he, he's a good player. He, he needs the credit, I think, because pivotal player for Nottingham. Yeah, fair enough. Um, result of the month. There's literally one result of the month for me. Nothing else comes close to it. I think um, I know what you're going to say. I'm going to put a little shock one out there, though. Well, then you go first. I'm going Sutton nil, Chesterfield one. Okay. Uh, not a, not had a great season so far. Chesterfield haven't. I think they're, they're probably worst result in terms of they were they were winning and on top was obviously against us. I think they conceded two after ninety minutes for us to go on and win. You know that I think I know they've had that big big win, but you look at Sutton, yeah, they're right up there in the table. Um, I think they've lost three games this season and going on paper that should have been Sutton's game to win and mm. it's a resilient win I think against Sutton. You know, they're a very well set up side. We struggled to break them down. So I know it's a boring result for result of the season, but I think in terms of which way you'd have you'd have guessed it if you were a gambling man, you would not have guessed it. Go Chesterfield 1 0. My result is also 1 0. My result of the month. And it is easy choice. It's Dagenham beating Torquay 1 0 away from home with 10 men mm-hmm. from the 41st minute. Best result. Yep. Best result easily. Yep. Torquay are flying. They've won like must be 80% of their games at least. And then Dagenham go there, get the early goal, get a red card. And then we're sat there 
thinking, I remember messaging you thinking, oh, well, Torquay are going to get another goal here. Torquay are going to get back into the game and Dagenham yeah. hold out for what is probably my result of the whole season so far. So I'm going to Dagenham yeah. one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think th- there's a few we've got to mention as well. Obviously, we mentioned uh, the, the, the 4-0 Hartlepool against Stockport and, and Chesterfield beating Barnet 6-0. I know Barnet are, are right at the bottom and they are struggling, but still 6-0 against a side that haven't conceded lots of goals, you know, like mm. to that level. You've got, you've got to give it a mention, I think. But yeah, I think it's, good. it's a good round of results there this month. Uh, underachievers then. Now, I could have gone with the same team I went with last month in Barnet. They've just been terrible this season. I predicted the hangover yeah. in our pre-season prediction. But yeah, I'm going to go for Definitely. Wrexham. I think the takeover came Sharp. and they thought, Sharp. everyone thought, yeah, they're going to be climbing that table. I mean, three losses in four in the league this mm-hmm. month. Um, yeah. The only team they beat, no disrespect, was Weymouth. They were 2 0 down, I believe, in that game and came back. Yeah. But still, three losses in four for a team of Wrexham standard. Um, yeah. One win. What's happened? What's happened? You thought this yeah. takeover might spark something, but it's not. So for me, underachievers this month, no doubt, could have been Barnet, but it's Wrexham. Yeah. No, I'd, I'd agree on that. That's a good pull, that is. Um, I'm going to stick with the, the boring side of things and go for Barnet. You were right with the hangover. Uh, they're a side for me, like, I just feel like they're, they're a half decent side. You know, they've got some mm. decent individual players and they can string a performance together, but they just can't seem to, to get things going this season. You know, I've gone from this month because they've literally got one point. And like I, I mentioned earlier, they got battered 6 0 by. You know, they're not exactly a good Chesterfield side. Do you know what I mean? No. Yeah. So I just, they're massively underachieving. Terrible. And, and it, it's clear. It's it's a huge problem at the club at the moment. Yeah, definitely. Um, we usually go on to best stream and worst stream. Now, we only go off what we've seen. We watch every Knots game. Um, Knots have had one away game this season, well, this month, and it's Dagenham. Now, that was right at the start of the month. And the stream quality was just, just average. Everyone's improving now. So... For me, I think it's sort of leveled out a bit now, isn't it? You know, yeah. like the, the the early sort of teething problems that you see are gone now. So it's all just a steady play, playing field, I think. Well, Even though I, I do, I do, I know we say it every time we've done one of these, but not streams are classable, I think. Yeah, yeah, definitely. So that wraps up our team of the month, player of the month, result of the month, and underachievers. Um, if you're fans of any of these clubs, let us know. You might agree, Wrexham and, and Barnet fans would love to know in the comment section below. And January's will be up right at the end of next month.